This one is just to open your mind to show you that differential amplifier doesn't need to be a voltage amplifier. It also can be super simple. It just need to follow what we are uh, the definition. Okay, so this is a differential am amplifier. Right. First of all, amplifier doesn't need to be voltage. What is the input here? It turns out the input is I1 and I2. Okay. A date differential signal, let's plot it. I look at the time and the current. Based on this, let's say I want you to I0 cosine omega t plus I0. What does it mean? It means offset, offset. Thank you. It means it's offset by how much? I0, right? So for the first one, how will it look like? When t is zero, then cosine omega t is one, then you have two i zero, right? So you have something like this, right? Where this point is two i zero. Is this okay? Right, because cosine omega t go from negative one to one, right? When it is one, then you have two I zero. When it is negative one, you have zero. So it's offset by I zero. And this is, what do we call this offset? The common mode, right? Yeah, it's a current, but just like here, I can have a common mode. VCM now become ICM, right? It's just a signal, right? So I say ICM equals to I zero. Okay. Now how about for the second one? For I two. It's the same. Again, it offset by I zero, but it has a negative phase, right? So when time equal to zero, it is negative zero. Sorry. When time equal to zero is negative one, then you get negative I zero. So when time is zero, it is one. So this is negative I0 plus I0, right? So they're completely opposite. You get something like this. So it's a day differential signals. Yeah, remember the criteria? They have the same common mode. That's very important. They, yeah, and one increase, one decrease by the same amount. And another usually we ignore is that they see the same input impedance. But you see that because the circuit is symmetric, of course, they see the same input impedance, right? Or conductance. So it's a differential signal, right? So that's it, right? So that is the, so what is the input? So the input is I input. How would you define I input? By definition. I have a differential input, so how will you define the I input? Just like voltage, right? You have differential voltage. How you define the V input? Say, say again. Very good. I1 minus my I2. You can only care about the differential input, right? The difference. Uh, not to I not you, you. Okay, say again. What is that? Equals to what? When I1 minus I2? Yeah, you're right. I did not hear that. Two I not cosine omega two, right? So now you see that there's no offset because we're talking about the differential, right? Okay. So the peak, the maximum is two I not because we only care about the peak, right? Not the detail of the signal. Good. That is the input. How about the output? Uh, yeah, definition first. What is V out? How will you define it? No, define it first. 
Oh, okay, sorry. Actually, maybe you don't see it, right? I actually I'm seeing these two are the output x and y. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. My, yeah, my my problem. What is the output? How it? V x minus v y. Yeah, this is given. Okay. Yeah. So v x minus v y, right? So what is v x? I one times L C. What is Vy? I2 times Lc, right? So the whole thing take out I1 minus I2, right? And we already know I1 minus I2 equal to, I just use the peak, okay? Maximum, okay? Lc times 2I, zero, right? So what is the gain by definition? V out over, uh, no, what is the input signal? I know it's confusing. I did not say it clear. Yeah, so what do we call the input signal? We call it I inputs, right? So it is Lc 2I0 divided by 2I0. The gain is a resistance because this is something called trans impedance amplifier. The input is current, output is uh, voltage. Right, we will discuss more uh, different types of in, uh, amplifier in the future, but open your mind. No one say that it needs to be voltage. It only, it's only important what quantity you care about, right? What quantity you care about is either personal preference, but more is what is the equipment you are trying to drive the circuit and what is the equipment you are trying to drive it? Maybe. Your, your, yours is a heater. You want to have a current output. Why well, you care about voltage, right? Or um, yeah, something like that. So in this particular case, it sends the current and output a voltage. Maybe this is just a current mid emitter. Right? Maybe it's an emitter and it's, there's a gain. The gain is RC. So now the unit of the gain is ohm, okay? And here, what is the P to P for the output voltage? I think we already discussed, right? Which is this one. 2I0 RC. This is the P to P. Should I'm correct? No, no, no. That is not the P to P. I say something wrong. Anyone want to correct me? Look at this. this yeah, this is the amplitude, right? Very good. So it is four I not RC. Are you okay with this? I make the mistake. Right, so be careful what people are talking about, right? It's not for the exam. People may be talking about P2P and you keep thinking about amplitude. Mm -hmm. Then you will miscommunicate. Okay, I need to... A little bit slow, but I think I still want to quickly show you the simulation that uh, that I did not do last time. So let's look at the differential pair. So this is the differential pair, as you can see, right? So um, I have some instruction on the left. This is a MOS, MOS, a current source with ISS equal to one milliampere. I add one giga ohm of resistor to model an uh, long ideal current source, but this is still very large. Then I bias it. Can you tell me based on this setup, what is the common mode of this circuit, of the inputs? What's the common mode based on here? Free, free volt, yeah, free volt. And then the VDD is five volt, okay? So the first thing I want to do is to run the uh, run a DC run a DC biasing, right? So I'm going to put a operating point, right? And then I just run it. We are only what? Uh, no reason because I need to add it back later. Yeah. So let's look at this, right? So you can see that this is a bias and then I just want to show the current. 
This is one million ampere. What is the current in IDM4? On the right, and then the current on IDM1. It is larger than 0 .0, uh, 0 0.5 milli ampere. Do you see that? Because I have current going through the R1. Where's R1? Maybe it's not here. Very tiny current. But that is because this one giga ohm. Right? That's the first thing. Okay. Now then uh, maybe I will uh, change this one. If you don't have a good ideal current source, you have a very lousy one. How about one mega ohm? And now I run it again. Well, now for M4, I have a, a pretty large current going through it, right? Now, I will also change the common mode voltage. Let's say I make it into, uh, I, actually, I want to show you this first. Where is the output? V minus 3.99807, right? This is the output common mode, right? 3.99807, remember it? Now I change the common mode to two volt. Okay, and I run it again. 3.99907. So the output changes, right? On the other hand, if this is really big, 100 giga ohm, for example, it becomes an ideal current source. If you run it, the, out, the output is 4 volt, right? 4 volt. Now, if I change the common mode, let's say, to 3 volt, I run it. The output is still 4 volt. So there's no common mode gain. Right? So that's what I want to show you. You can play with that. Now, I actually now, I only add the side wave to one side to observe the output. Okay. So let's just uh, quickly uh, try to run a transient. Uh, stop time with this. So let's look at the input here. This is the input voltage, 3 volt swinging, right? And what is the output? The output have, has this gain. So actually I did deliberately, I only want to see the effect of one side, right? So just by this one, it already has this gain. Now if I add this to another, with another side wave, Right, offset free, amplitude 0 0.01, frequency 10. Sorry, say again. No, amplitude cannot be negative, uh, but we are going to shift with a phase. Yeah. Okay, so let me run it again, right? So look at this gain, right? It's about 4.1 to 4 point, I mean, what well, 4.1 something to, to 3.9, right? So what will happen? I don't know if that will work. It is much larger, it's double, right? Do you see that? That is because I add another side. Now, if I try to plot this one also, you see I have a differential input, right? And of course, actually, the true differential output I want is this two, right? And now I plot the left and right, okay? So that's it, right? But by the way, if any one of you need this file, I can send you, but you can view it easily just by watching the video. This is a good way to understand uh, uh, what's going on, okay? Any questions? Okay. If no, then let's go back to the 